first of all, I want to take a moment to congratulate you for being here. All right. All right. Let's relax. Because if you're trying to make money and you're already here, well, then you're just a step ahead of everybody else. So in this video, I'm gonna be touching on some amazing online part-time jobs that anybody could do, even students. No BS, no scam, no get rich quick, completely work from home, and you can make over $20 an hour doing these jobs. So let's get into it. The first job opportunity that I wanna highlight for you guys is actually a website called VIPKid.com and I found this website super interesting. So if you can speak English on a pretty good level, if you're fluent in English, then you could teach one-on-one -on -one English classes for kids ages four to 15 and you become a certified teacher from the US or Canada. But this is super cool because when you're teaching, you can actually make 14 to $22 an hour without leaving your home at all. You can make your own schedule you don't have to provide any lessons because they're gonna give you the curriculum and tell you what to teach and they make sure that the pay is competitive so that way you use them instead of another platform by providing your services there so here's some of the things that I really like about VIP kid and the first one is that Glassdoor says it's a top 10 best places to work and Glassdoor knows the best places to work so that means you're gonna get a really good experience by working for this company also there is no commitment really to teach with VIP kid you just sign a six-month contract with the teachers but there's no minimum hour requirement which means you're not really tied down as much as you would think not to mention you don't need to speak any other languages besides English because everything and I mean everything is gonna be in English so now that we're done with the US and Canada let's get on to some part-time online jobs that you can do from home anywhere in the entire world <laughs> All right, so these next two go hand in hand and that's Upwork and Fiverr. There are some slight differences, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what jobs you should be doing on Upwork and Fiverr to make $20 an hour. So if you don't know what Upwork and Fiverr are, they're actually websites where you, a freelancer, can post your services and have people take you up on those services and you get paid by providing them that service. So for instance, let's say I'm gonna use Fiverr and I'm looking for somebody to do some social media marketing for me, right? I want someone to run all of my social social media accounts and create content for my social media so that way I can expand my business. Well, you see, they've got the recommended people where the buyers just keep returning and buying the service. And you can see how much these people are actually charging for these services, right? So I'll be your social media marketing manager and content creator. So this person is gonna make content and manage your social media profiles. And that starts at $125. And then you go up and eventually, if you do a really good job, you get this pro verified sign on your profile, which means you could charge a crap ton of money and you're gonna have no problem getting customers because Fiverr's just gonna keep recommending you and recommending you and recommending you. But what you need to do is you need to learn these skills that I'm gonna tell you about. So certain different industries here that I'm gonna tell you about. So that way you can actually get started, get this going, and then you can start charging more and more and more and turn this into a, kind of like a full-time income on a part-time schedule, especially with some of the things I'm about to tell you. Now, I'm gonna start with some of the lower skilled stuff that requires no education, no training, that you can just hop into right now. And the first one I'm gonna hop into here is actually data entry. Now, companies or people all over the world just need people to type in data. A lot of people, companies out there have data that's on paper and maybe they're gonna scan it and send it to you and they need it put into an Excel sheet. Or you might be putting in part numbers for a company that does online business. I don't know what kind of data you're gonna be doing. But data management and entry can actually be a pretty lucrative field, especially if you get really good at it and you can juggle multiple clients at once and you're willing to put in the time to do this. But the great thing about data entry is that you could be anybody anywhere in the world and do it. As you can see, these people are from all over the world. Look how diverse these entries are on Fiverr for this. So let's make a little bit more money than data entry because data entry is definitely one that can go below $20 an hour, especially if you're not experienced. So let's get right up into that $20 range, no problem. So our next one here is actually gonna be blog writing and blog writing can be extremely lucrative if you put the time into it. All you need to do is learn how to write, 
how to write fast and you'll just get better and better and better or you could even hire this out to somebody else if you really wanted to do it and make a quick profit on this there's a lot of ways to get done with blog writing but the important thing to learn for blog writing is SEO which is search engine optimization which you can use tools such as hrefs which will help you find keywords to write blogs about for certain niches so let's say one of your clients works in healthcare and they want you to write a blog on healthcare or something to do with nursing in healthcare then you can use software such as hrefs to find keywords that people are searching for so that way you're writing blogs that return traffic to that website so that way that person will keep hiring you again and again and again to write these blogs but if you want to go a step further with this if you're getting into the whole blogging sphere i highly recommend starting your own blog and the reason is because you can make a ton of money by starting your own blog so this is my blog onlyhustles.com and basically i write blogs to help people get better and better and better at making making money online or making money in general. And the way you would make money off of this is people visit the website, they see advertisements, they click on those advertisements, you make money for people just visiting your website and looking at your content. Your content shows up on Google, brings passive income to the website. But for me in general, I drive that passive income from my YouTube channel to this website. And then I drive traffic from this website back to my YouTube channel, which kind of puts people in a full circle of making money, which is pretty neat. And the other thing you can do is affiliate marketing. And oh my Lord, oh my Lord, affiliate marketing is so, so, so profitable. I'm talking like, if you check out my last video, you can make thousands of dollars a month for literally no effort just by talking about something and believing in something and showing people the value of something. So for those of you who don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's basically if you believe in a product or service, you send people to that product or service through a special link that they provide to you. And if those people buy that product or service, then you get a kickback of whatever they bought for X amount of time. All affiliate marketing programs are vastly different different. I use some of these amazing affiliate marketing programs that I'll have linked in the description for you. I use TubeBuddy, which helps me find my video topics and basically what I want to make my videos about. And then I also have Epidemic Sound, which is all my sounds and background music. And these affiliate marketing programs pay me amazingly. There are some really bad ones out there that are more consistent, such as Amazon. You can send people to Amazon to buy things. Like if you have a camera that you're talking about in a video or in a blog post, then you send them over to Amazon, check out that that camera and if they buy it you'll get a kickback but the rate of return on those is really low and before we leave the topic of writing I want to talk to you about the premise of copywriting so copywriting is actually when you see an advertisement or you see something that's really well written. So somebody's trying to get you through a sales funnel. They're trying to sell you something, right? So with copywriting, you actually try to write something that keeps people engaged or gets them to take an action on something. So that way people will buy that product or service from you. So as you can see, this copywriter, Jacob L, charges $100 an hour. So you charging $20 an hour to start, especially if you're a good writer and you're getting pretty pretty niche into the game here, it's not a problem at all. And as you can see, this guy's got amazing reviews. So if you wanna do this full-time or part-time, this option is available for you, $65 an hour for this on Upwork, 49 an hour, 45, 69, 100, 75, 50. This is a very lucrative field. So if you do some research on copywriting, all you need to do is type into YouTube or Google how to do copywriting and then start practicing and showing it to your friends and family, then you can get right into the copywriting game. The next online job I want to talk about is becoming a social media grower or a manager. So basically for me, I'm a digital marketing manager for a living. So I do everything when it comes to ads, writing, social media, you name it. That's what I do as a digital marketing manager. But there are certain positions in the field, such as growing social media profiles or managing social media profiles. And you can actually focus in on these things and charge $20 an hour by just running content for people. So what does a social media manager do well you might be creating content for a company's social media you might be posting content at certain times and days when the company can't be online you might be interacting with customers in the direct messages you might be sending people amazing links to help them get some value the stuff you can do is pretty wide and diverse but here's the thing if you look up how to get into this whole industry a lot of people are gonna be like oh go buy my course $2,500 and I'll teach you how to be a social media manager. Stop. 
You don't have to do that at all. Seriously, you don't. You just need to watch some of my Instagram marketing videos and I explain every single premise. I'll have a whole playlist link for you at the end of this video. I explain the entire premise of why people like social media platforms, what they do on those social media platforms, and how to actually grow and manage these social medias. Thousands of people have watched my videos, thousands of people have gotten value and made money. That's all you need to do. You don't need to buy anything. Just check out my free videos, seriously. But I would say the most important thing that you need to understand for being a social media is just how content works on certain platforms. So with Instagram, you need to know what kind of content works within a certain niche, which is a topic or interest, and on TikTok, you need to know what kind of content will blow up on TikTok. If you can replicate that and create your own viral content or make sure the company you're working for provides you with that viral content, then you'll just keep getting hired for $20 an hour to be the social media marketing king or queen. Easy. So let's take this one step further. Let's say that we want to get into social media marketing, which is the next step up from being a social media manager. So if you're a social media marketer, what you're going to be doing is not just running social media platforms or growing social media platforms. Instead, you're going to be running advertisements on social media through Facebook, through Google, through LinkedIn ads, Twitter ads, you name it. If you're running advertisements, that is a very, very unique and defined skill because it's really hard to target audiences based on certain algorithms for setting up these ads. But if you wanna learn how to set up ads for social media, all you need to do is type it into YouTube and don't buy any courses. Setting up ads can be incredibly lucrative because you'll learn how to set up ads for yourself to advertise your business so you make more money, as well as others. And if your ads do well, they're gonna keep hiring you. And also, it's super passive once you get it set up and you learn how to do these ads, then basically, you're gonna create those ads kick back and relax and you'll be making cash. The next online job opportunity that I wanna to touch on, whether you're a student or you work from home or you just wanna make some cash, is actually becoming a virtual assistant. Now, virtual assistant is pretty similar to these other things. You might be asked to manage social media profiles. You might be asked to do data entry. That's the po that's the, both the positive and the negative of being a virtual assistant. So you'll be doing customer service, you might be doing marketing, you might be doing data entry, whatever they ask. But the cool thing about being a virtual assistant is you get really good at it. You can actually manage multiple clients at once. $20 an hour here, $20 an hour there. I say you do it. The next hustle I wanna talk about is learning graphic design. Now, learning graphic design is no easy feat, but once you learn graphic design and you learn how to do clean designs, there's so many videos on YouTube about this, then you can charge a lot for this because it is a skill that people don't have. So I know you've heard of Photoshop, which is the number one graphic design program out in the entire world, but the problem with Photoshop is that it costs money. So I'm gonna show you some free alternatives that are really easy to use. And the first one is Canva. Canva. Canva is really good because it's absolutely free. You get access to 250,000 plus free design templates, over 100 design types. So if you need to make an Instagram post, for instance, they've got it. If you need to make a PowerPoint presentation for a business, they've got it. They've got everything and they'll even store the stuff for you on the cloud. Now, if you want to take this a step further, I'm going to show you one called Figma. Now, Figma is one of my favorite design programs on the entire planet because I can select a frame here and I can make different things depending on what I need. So if I need to make something that's sized for a 16 inch MacBook Pro, I can. If I need to make an Instagram post, I can. So as we see here, I click this, I made an Instagram post. And if I wanna make some content, it's completely and utterly customizable, right? I could change the fonts, I could change the size of the font, I could change what I do with the font, anything. I can add pictures in here, I can design everything I need. It's super free and super easy. And as you can see, I've made many other designs for like my social media accounts on different things for the channel and it's just really really useful you can copy and paste and it just makes things so quick so easy and so efficient but the one i really want to show you guys which is just a step up from this is actually photop.com photop is literally just photoshop but in a browser so if you can't afford photoshop and you want the Photoshop experience, all you need to do is go to photop.com. It's basically just Photoshop. So let's check out how much you can actually get for graphic design on Fiverr. As you can see, there is a wide variety of different prices and there's no problem with you charging $20 per gig or even more. It just depends on what you're designing, whether it's for t-shirts or for online, 
websites, it doesn't matter. But if you get really good at something and you keep practicing and you get those reviews, then you can charge more and more and more because people know that you've got the goods. And the next part-time online job that I wanna cover is actually creating websites for people. Now, it's not as hard as you might think. All you need to do, you don't even need to learn how to code. You just need to learn how to use an online website builder such as Wix.com, for instance. Wix is really, really, really good. Or you could even learn WordPress, which is the most popular one. So if you learn how to actually get really good at these drag and drop website builders, then you can actually offer these website building and design services yourself. I mean, this is a WordPress website that I had built for me and I paid $170 to get this thing done. That's $170 that you could have in your pocket. And I got a good deal on this thing. It's a WordPress website. They didn't have to code at all. All they had to do was drag and drop this for me. So with all that said, I hope you guys got some amazing value from this video. If you're looking for a job, like a job job to where you get hired and you're not creating your own freelance services, I highly recommend you check out this video right here where I talk about some of the best companies that are hiring in the entire world.